Panda Pier, located in Luzira, is an area with about 1,000 households. From afar, it looks like an ordinary camp village, but a closer look reveals the effect of the rising water levels of Lake Victoria. The residents share stories of how the rising waters have affected their lives. Uh, we are facing a few challenges. Um, lack of accommodation because we have been invaded by water. And then uh, some people don't have food. We really have people who are underprivileged here, who really need help, uh, like food, stuff, because what the government gave, people have finished it. Uh, some people need mosquito nets and some medicine. The rising water levels are what spurred Nema to issue the residents a notice to vacate the area in 21 days. However, most of the residents say they cannot leave and they have now reached out to the Lord Mayor Rias Lukwago to come to their aid. From the record I've received here, Basa Jabalaba paid only 13.9 million to get a lease over this big tract of land here. You can imagine. In total, disregard or violation of the law because the law is clear. The Lord Mayor cited some irregularities in Nema's stand on the fate of the residents. Yes, when you're creating a lease, there must be a purpose. Okay, they have powers to create a lease, but there are guidelines, there are regulations, there are laws pro, I mean, regulating that pro, particular process. The first priority has to be given to the sitting tenants. There are so many people here. Were there any adverts made, given, inviting people to come and apply for this land? Was there notice given to these people that a lease is going to be given out? Should you fail to secure this lease, it will be given to somebody else? That was a violation of the the NEMA spokesperson has reiterated the institution's earlier position and cautioned the residents to use the 21 days to leave the area. The restoration of those who have already built and have structures and activities going on is one activity which should be, which should be started after 21 days and concluded. And then those who have land titles, that's an ongoing process and eventually, ultimately, they will be cancelled. Some residents say they will not leave the area because they have an understanding with businessman Hassan Basajabalaba, who was the titus to the land. Others want to stay because of the attachment to the area. Uh, I think it's case by case because we are having two different kinds of categories of people. We have those who are willing to be paid so they can live and we have those who don't want to be paid, who want to retain their land because they bought their land with their own money. It is alleged that the Kampala District Land Board, without authority and clearance from the relevant authorities, granted leases and freehold titles to various companies and individual proprietors in contravention of the laws and procedures, which has led to the encroachment on the wetlands. Andrew Chamagero, NTV Tonight.